I'm probably gonna regret keeping it out because she'll outgrow it like you are tomorrow. The rain, you are the sky. You yellow rays and burning fire. Purple with flowers. I'm also getting that one. You love me so. Come show me. Mind. Oh my goodness! 99% of the pose in here aren't even her size anymore. We are at Chipotle for no reason. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the vlog. I am starting this off because I was planning on doing a bunch of baby clothes organization, but it's actually a beautiful day today, so my plans changed, but I'm still gonna vlog because I think we're gonna go um to hobby lobby which should be fun i need to get something there i have the girls ready to go quinn is facetiming eric he's on his way home from work right now yeah hey bria can you say dada can bria say dada i'm going to attempt to show you guys a little baby clothes haul I placed an order on zara last week it actually came in super fast but i'm so disappointed because three out of the four things I got don't fit. I got the girls these matching shirts and I sized down in both of them and they're too small for both of them. And then I got Bria this little goldish shirt. It's also too small and I had sized down this little sweatshirt I actually got in her size right now and it's the only thing that fits. I think it's a well-known fact for anyone that shops regularly at Zara that their sizing is so off sometimes. So in case anyone doesn't regularly shop there and is wondering why I size down in almost everything, last fall I placed an order for like four little shirts for Quinn. I got 12 to 18 months and at that time she was in 18 to 24 months and they are to this day too big for her because they were so big and it was like the same style of shirt as these so when I saw these I was like okay those are really cute but I know I need to size down and I shouldn't have because they're too small so we're probably gonna go make a return on all this stuff right now but I'm showing it anyway because I'm going to exchange it and get the same thing that actually fits but it's so frustrating because last year everything I bought was huge and now this year, I actually sized down and everything is too small. All of these were pretty cheap. Like the little striped shirts were about $10. This one was like $7, I think. This sweatshirt was a little more pricey. I think it was $17, but that's definitely one of those things that she's going to wear so much. And then I also got her a bow. I found a new little bow shop on Etsy called Nola J. It's so cute. I spent so long searching for just like a neutral textured bow for Bria and I found some but so many of them like stand up so far off her head and I think that looks weird and this one actually looks very flat but it's also like a decent size so hopefully it works I'm actually gonna put it on her right now this little outfit was also something that I got in my fall shopping for her it says hey cutie how adorable is this it's from a little shop called wild bub we are at chick-fil-a for no reason <laughs> we're hungry <laughs> This is like the hangriest I've been in a while. I'm literally like on my last string of patience right now. Also because we just had to leave our groomer because Ace got into burrs in the yard and they had to shave his ear. So he has one bald ear. Our groomer is the best though. She did such a good job and she's so nice and she got him in at the last second. We were gonna go to Hobby Lobby after this but we kind of ran out of time and also I forgot we had Ace in the car so we can't go anyway. We're going to take pictures for Ashley and JJ so that should be fun. I found a super pretty field. Yep. Thank you. We just got done taking pictures. Here are my models. Oh. <laughs> We're back home and I just got done making a smoothie. Not the typical time of day to make a smoothie. It is 6.48, but Bria was asleep when we went to Chick-fil-A and I wasn't really gonna give her Chick-fil-A anyway, so we're having smoothies at almost 7 p.m. Okay, it is baby clothes organizing day. I'm gonna try to get as many things organized as I can, but I'm already telling myself that I'm not gonna finish because I know there is so much 
and my problem as always is that I don't have anywhere to put the clothes that they grow out of. I'm at least going to get the clothes that fit into their drawers and in their closet and then as you can see this is what ends up happening to the clothes that I have nowhere to put. So I literally have like some bins of clothes at my parents house that need to come back here because we just don't have the space. So I have the girls set up with the movie in the living room which I never do first thing in the morning. We just finished breakfast but I made an exception today so that I could get as much done before Bria has to come back in here for her nap as possible. So this is Bria's drawer right now and a good 99% of the clothes in here aren't even her size anymore, don't fit her. She's going into nine to 12 months and this stuff is literally three to six months. Some of it is her size, like this is new, these two things are new, but like the majority is just too small. I have a couple of her new things up here that I need to put in and then this is all clean clothes, but most of this is also too small. You are the rain. You are the sky Your yellow rays and burning fire Your every song that fills my mind You're a temple full of holy wine I'm gonna love you till the well runs dry I'm gonna give you all I have inside Days for all of time I'm gonna love you till the well runs dry Well, thanks to the Mandela milk bags, Bria's keeping busy. Also her little basket of headbands and passies. Um, so all of this is too small and I have no idea where to put it. And this is what I have in her size so far. There are a couple things in the laundry too, but literally a couple, like maybe two or three. So most of this is new. It still needs to be washed, but I'm just putting it in here so I can see what I have. I kept out a couple summery things be just because they are her size and who knows, maybe we'll have an Indian summer, although it's already pretty cold out. So I kind of doubt it now, but I only have three little pajama outfits for her. So I know I need to get some more of these. How cute is this though? I don't think I've shown this one. It's like camping themed. I got it from Target. I love it. I also kept out this, even though it's six to nine months and I'm trying to get out all this nine to 12 month stuff. I'm I'm probably gonna regret keeping it out because she'll outgrow it like tomorrow but it does still fit her and I am in need of fall outfits right now so I'm gonna leave it out although I always regret doing that because I just wish I had put it away with everything like two days later. There are a couple things I left out that are summery only because they're in her size and I feel like I should just do myself a favor and put them away because summer is over. I'm gonna go get out the baby clothes bins that I keep all the too small and too big clothes in and see if I have any spare room in them. I know I don't, but like this has gotta go somewhere. I also have this entire pile which I showed before, but it's all either too small for Quinn and Bria or too big for Bria but too small for Quinn. I have heard so many times that if you don't use a certain outfit or something for your first baby and it just sits and you never use it, get rid of it because you're most likely not going to use it for your second baby and I did that somewhat but now there are definitely things that I haven't used that much with either of them that I know I could probably get rid of. That would save me a little bit of space. It is 10.45. Bria's down for her nap, so I'm taking a break from doing the clothes. Yes. I just put some green beans on the stove to cook for uh, like a lunch, I guess, for me and Quinn. We usually... You want some green beans? Oh, okay. Okay. I just got out some things to do with Quinn during her one-on-one -on -one time. She loves doing these little activity books with me. As you know, I've shown them a thousand times and then I think we'll actually do this Love Every craft today. I showed this in one of my last videos, but it's just a simple little craft for toddlers that came in her enthusiast play kit, and she's been wanting to do it so bad. We're gonna do this, and then probably just a couple pages in her workbook. Quinn was watching Max and Ruby while I was doing the clothes, and they're literally doing crafts on the show, so this is the perfect time to have her do a little craft of her own. Other, 
That's crazy. We're making a picture. It's like a craft. Who do you want to give it to? Great grandma? Yeah. Okay. Okay, tell me how to spell it. What do we write? Q D I M N M Quinn. Q, then what? U. Then what? I. Then what? N. Then what? Nothing. Another N. Two ends. Q U I N N. And how do you spell Bria? Q U. No, what does B B Bria start with? Q U I N N Bria. Baby lunch time. Bria's having some avocado with quinoa mixed in. I swear she could eat an entire avocado like this with quinoa mixed in. She loves it. You like it? Hi. Hi. Are you waving? Yeah. You're cute. Yeah. You're a cute little baby. All right, it is pouring rain and we just pulled up to Walmart to see if they have some sleepers for Bria. <laughs> Walmart is not disappointing. They have some really cute things right now. This is like a little sweatshirt dress and they have a bunch of patterns, really cute colors. I'm actually gonna get one of these dresses for Quinn. I'm trying to decide if I should get 18 months or 2T because the 18 months actually looks like it would fit her better. But they have this in a bunch of different patterns. So cute. These sweatshirts are so cute and they have a few different colors. They have cream and pink. Of course, I like this one. This is like my favorite color. Okay, Walmart has a brand right now called Modern Moments. It is so cute. This might be boys, but I don't care. There's little trees on it. I'm getting it in Bria's size and then same little thing but purple with flowers. I'm also getting that one in like pajamas and then cream ribbed and black ribbed. And these are so affordable. I feel like they look like they're from a little Instagram shop. Look are you excited? <laughs> look how cute she looks in black. Oops, she's like a little Halloween pumpkin. Aww, was he lonely? Quinn is always so concerned when we're gone that Ace is at home and sad and lonely. So she said she was gonna come home and give him a hug and make him happy. I think he's happy now, isn't he? Yeah, is he eating his dinner? Yes. Come here, you didn't show everyone your shaved ear. One of his ears is bald because the groomer had to basically shave the fur down Come show me. Oh my goodness. Is that so fun? That's what you're gonna wear in the snow. That is so cute. I you just have, wanna pick you her up. You have a little room to grow into it too. Babe, that's so cute. You do, you have what? Hood. You do have a hood. Eric tried so hard to convince me to buy this for her in Walmart and I kept saying no. Then he finally talked me into it and it was the best decision. How cute. I love it. Can you, can you walk in it? Do you have enough room to walk? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I am going to end this vlog here. I never ended up going through Quinn's stuff because I just realized that even if I did, I would have nowhere to put all of the stuff that she's grown out of. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I have everything fitting at least right now, so. No point to take out all the stuff that doesn't fit and have nowhere to put it. At some point when I get a better storage routine or whatever you wanna call it, I will do another one of these videos and show how I organize everything better, but that's not the case right now. I'm gonna wash all the new stuff that I got tonight for Bria. I think she's pretty much set for fall now. Um, 
until I see something else cute that I want to get. Just kidding. I've spent enough. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this organizing and going through baby clothes video. I know people like to see that kind of stuff. So I will see you in a few days with my next video. Bye guys. I'm gonna love you till the well runs dry. I'm gonna give you all I have inside. All my days for all of time. I'm gonna love you till the well runs dry.